spending a day with Paul Hoag immediately brings to mind Jerzy Kaczynski's famous quote, the principle of art is to pause, not to bypass. There's just so much uh, that he brings to his art uh, that you, uh, you can touch and feel. It's a truly an artist skill that he has. I would say he's a throwback to the 60s, um, kind of a beatnik, yet his art is very uh, 21st century. A nature lover from childhood, Paul creates surreal sculptures and carvings from items that he often finds in nature. He takes recycled products, things that nobody else wants, frames from garage sales, pieces of wood, rocks, recycled water bottles. When you look at his art, you think, this is a man who gives back to the earth. And he turns them into beautiful, magical objects of art uh, that's appreciated by people throughout Long Beach. He creates the transitional element between us in the modern, civilized, industrialized world and the very basic origin of humanity. It's something that perhaps goes back, back to your primordial past. His magical creations can be seen throughout our city, as well as in Europe and South America. Uh, I think it's fantastic that uh, the city has recognized Paul as the distinguished artist. Paul's work encompasses all people of the city, people uh, from the corner bars to the nightclubs to art collectors. He has a unique ability to reach people uh, of all categories, and, and that's what Long Beach is. I don't think we could imagine downtown, and especially East Village Art District, without uh, having his work around. Congratulations, Paul. We appreciate your unique vision. You deserve this award, and we look forward to many, many, many more decades of enjoying your work. You um, have given to the community probably more than it can ever give to you. Paul, right on. We're completely stoked for you. You're totally deserving, and we'll see you soon.